Hey guys, welcome back to Denim Gaming. We are doing another Death Must Die video because my Scada video went live <laughs> and I got some messages about my bad gameplay, but more importantly, that I didn't play Scada correctly. Um, <laughs> I did her a disservice as a character and I need to play her again. So, today's episode, we're going to do some Scotta gameplay, where hopefully I don't suck, because apparently I do. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get over here. So, there was a couple uh, <clears throat> unifying messages for Scotta. One was how I should be playing. The other was the type of gear I should be targeting. So, with Scotta... Um, that's a good one. The gear I should be targeting is experience per second. So apparently there's an experience per second build with Scada that's really strong. Where the more experience per second I gain, the more levels Scada gains, the more Scada levels, obviously, the better. Um, so we're kind of... We're not in a good spot for that. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. If we look at our gear, all of our gear is luck. Um, and again, like I just, you know, this was just stuff I was using. I wasn't necessarily like trying to go deep into this character, but apparently that's just proof of how bad I played this character. Um, so thanks for Tiny and uh, <clears throat> the others that sent me messages that I, I need to up my... I'm not going to use the language they used, but I need to help myself because <laughs> it was not great. Alright, so let's get into Skata. I don't have any XP per second gear, unfortunately, to throw onto her immediately. Um, I was never even like targeting specific gear, so in that aspect, uh, we're pretty far behind on the curve on that. So there's apparently two different ways to play her. One is the experience per second, and the other is attacks by ES, so attack increase speed. So everything that is making her attack more. On top of that, I was called a noob for running around with auto attack on, as if that's the only way you can move. So apparently the first five minutes of Scotta gameplay must be you booking it to shrines to try and get to try and get your increase through that. So we're going to we're gonna do the community suggestion on gameplay. It is pointless to attack more than one, or not, if you're not attacking more than one. Also, as cool as time is, I'm supposed to not take time unless I'm taking force. So force is supposed to be the only thing I take. Warp strike is super cool, but apparently it's, uh, it's not as good as some of the other ones for, for Scada. So, oh, there we go. So wrathful strike is apparently the best attack for Scotta. Alright, and then here, I'm always supposed to go movement speed. And by the way, I was guaranteed success. Even playing as bad as I play, apparently. <laughs> I, uh, I triggered some people out there with uh, that Scotta gameplay video I had. I mean, I really thought I was going to win. On that last one. So, uh, there's kind of a couple different ways to play Skata on this one. Lightning Orbs is not it. I'm supposed to banish it. But Haste is. So, the reason I'm supposed to take Haste is... Skata is one of the slower attacking characters. And... 
I really need to increase her move speed in more ways than others. And then for this, I guess I'm always supposed to take rerolls so that I can try and get higher tier. I don't rate rerolls too highly. So we have all of the bookshelves, so we can never get another book. But every time we pick up a bookshelf, I'm told that that gives you a random skill increase. All right, so on this one, it's chain lightning, but it's I'm not supposed to take any novice if I can, so that's why I'm supposed to reroll. So I'm supposed to reroll to get higher abilities. Um, so chain lightning is really good. Lightning bolt is also good later on in the game. Ball lightning, I'm not supposed to take as well. So we're going to reroll again and hope. I'm not supposed to waste points in this because it'll get naturally leveled up. I'm really hoping for Chain Lightning to come up at Novice or higher. So we're going to give it one more. Okay, wow. So let's see uh, who I trigger on this one and who's going to leave me a comment that I did this incorrectly. But I'm going to take the Master, the master Chain Lightning. And then, I guess, that's got to be expert, right? I have been told that if you do the experience per second build, that it is possible to get Skata to level um, like 50, essentially. Um, but if I do the experience per second build, I'm supposed to go into time as early as possible to try and get a uh, the experience increase. Okay, so now that I have a couple of abilities, it's apparently okay for me to go into, into time. Vortex is not the move. And I need to re-roll once to try and get... Okay. Well, this is what I'm supposed to have, is these abilities. But I'm supposed to take them in time. Um, I don't know which one I'm supposed to take first. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's going to yell at me. That it. But at the moment, I'm going to go with Gem High. The reason for that is Gem High is strong. And you just... It's a one-off ability. And I want to take as many one-off abilities early game as I can so that I'm forcing all my early level ups to hit my triggerable abilities. So like I've only put one point into Chain Lightning and if I'm lucky I should never put any more points into another ability on Chain Lightning. I don't know how realistic that is because I only gain an additional skill every other level but we'll see. Um, that clearly I have not, but again, your main ability you always want to take the max on, because it's where your damage sits to start. So the slimes are coming, apparently the slimes are my first, uh, my telling sign. So if I'm doing the character correctly, I should be able to do this. And if I die on this, then I suck. <laughs> so let's see. I don't know what they're talking about, man. It, it definitely feels like I'm about to die. All right, so expert on that, so it lasts longer. I mean, I don't know, I guess, I guess I'm like right there. Hands off, stand still. Oh, Lady Justice, my favorite. 
and there is a character you're supposed to take justice on. It's just not this one, because um, this move right here, damage return and a heal. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could take it, but I'm not going to. I had very specific instructions on how to play this character. <clears throat> oh, here we go. But this isn't any of the things I need. So let's re-roll. Okay. Uh, apparently might is the way. So I did confirm that I won't be able to get Splinter on any character, but um, any other character at least. So all the melee characters, Splinter doesn't doesn't trigger for. I don't know. I've never seen it, and I couldn't get a, a definitive answer. But from what from what I've pretty much been told is yeah, it doesn't it doesn't appear for these other characters because there's no ability to split. All right, hands were in the air, sort of towards the end, but I survived it without a. Uh... All right, so all of these are good. I'm just supposed to reroll to get what I did. So I'm supposed to take force because once I stop running, I'm only supposed to put one point in force. The reason for that is you want to try and pick up chain lightning kills, but you don't want to, uh, if you're killing like this, essentially what they, what I was told was, okay, so, I mean, maybe they're right. So I only put that one point into chain lightning, and as you can see, it's already pretty close to max. I'm not supposed to take this because it's novice. I'm instead supposed to take Wrathful Strike and just go ham on it. I'm supposed to let the additional level ups level all my uh, my additional abilities, and then eventually it'll only be Wrathful Strike that comes up, essentially, and if I can get the Wrathful Strike to get it to the point where it has a super high chance to proc an additional attack, and I don't know how to see that additional attack, so I don't know if it's if it's working or not working. So it's, so what I really want to hope for is wisdom, but it's, see, and then like, am I supposed to still just take it? And then, all right, no, I'm just gonna take it. because it's, it's more XP. So I will say I'm definitely moving faster by not having auto attack on. And I guess the purpose to that is I don't want... I want to minimize the amount of XP shards that drop off screen from Chain Lightning. And, you know, my initial response to being told that was, well, why don't I just not take Chain Lightning? And I was told, if you don't take Chain Lightning, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> so, um, wow. I think I'm going to have to take Lady Justice. Um... Damages you, heal back percentage of the damage. You were dealt and deal enemies back. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyone want to send me a message? No? Okay. So I'm just going to take one and then I'm going to get yelled at for it later. But that's okay. Um, I'm going to take concentration. I feel like healing back any damage taken seems pretty strong. Especially at master level.
Okay, so here, I mean, I really want to take Lightning Bolt, but I can't, so I need to start getting as much movement speed as I can, because that's kind of a super important part to the build. Okay, so um, I guess I'm just going to alter it out, and I'm still not getting anything there, so let's, let's go for as much movement speed as we can. <clears throat> so apparently this character shines once you get to enough movement speed that you attack as fast as you would normally run. But that also takes, I think, a hundred and they said like a hundred and fifty plus in, um, I mean, I guess if I heal for more too, I don't know. I'm kind of like in no man land. I got a lot of, I got a lot of information that I was like, okay. <laughs> Hopefully I'm doing uh, Scott us some justice this time. Yeah, so apparently I wasn't attacking fast enough, which is why the archers were hitting me so often, because I couldn't swing to destroy the, the bullet spray. So this one right here is what I need. And eventually you'll get it. So for time, um, actually time feels supposed to be really good for Skata as well because everything's sitting on you, but I'm going to go with uh, Alteration Ritual because apparently you can randomly trigger a free revive. Whether that's true, I don't know. It's probably a really small percentage. So essentially this is what I want my run speed to get to. How fast I am right now. Once it's at that, then... Um, and then brevity does me no good, because it doesn't matter about spell speeds or cooldowns. Apparently these cooldowns don't affect any of your attack speed or anything of that nature. Um, I mean... I'm going to go with Chain Lightning, because the more... I feel like the more plus levels that are going to other things, the better. Okay, so spell durations is one where it only affects time field, so it's not important. It's just something I take later. I'm supposed to like force force certain abilities at certain times, and then uh, try and let the plus the additional levels handle taking care of them my only thing is the additional levels also feel like they get wasted if you flood the pool too much okay so i mean i don't need damage return i guess that's an interesting thought which one of these is better um, I guess more a, a better baseline is always better just at least in my mind it, it feels better to always take that because if you're always taking that you're Okay, so, oh, uh, well, there's finally an adept version of that. Um, I'm actually going to take it just because the chain lightning will always get leveled, but I've been not getting a lot of adept offers of that. That was the first time I've ever seen it above. Okay, so 
This is apparently why you go into Lady Justice. All your blessing rarities are upgraded, so it um, essentially just makes everything incredible. Like everything just goes up a level, right? So now, master, 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 master. <laughs> that was a, a grace, and so that's like it just. It's incredible. So you see it down here. <laughs> wow. That is super cool. I mean, wow. Yeah. So I feel like I'm still leveling really slow compared to all my other characters. My other character is just... So, Master Strike at Master is pretty incredible now. Um, and that's just magically better. So now I'm supposed to be forcing Master Strike so that I... Him getting that additional attack as much as possible. See, I wonder. I wonder on this one if like it's better to keep going master strike, or to go with chain lightning. I'm just gonna do Master Strike because they told me that I really wanna I really wanna force that as high as I can. Do what I'm told. <laughs> so I definitely have that movement speed that I did not did not have on the other on the other runs. I mean, she's booking it. What's up, Clo? All right, and then on this one, um, critical strike. It's it's crappy, but. And then if I get into war, Skata actually is supposed to take Barrier Breaker. I forgot what it's called, but uh, that way I can, the sooner I get to staggering opponents with my sword, the better, apparently. Okay. Um, I think Divine Shield might be the play here. Get a free hit. Doesn't seem like it can ever be a bit going wrong with that. I don't know how beneficial it'll be on in the long run. So on this one, um, it's just it's spell duration because I'm not really. I'm not really doing anything else. Alright, so on this one, I'm always supposed to take Rude Gesture. Because I want to get to the point where I one-shot everything in the game except for bosses. Which I was I was already kind of like thinking that anyways. I don't know. It would have been really hard for me to ever justify doing anything else. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um... Fortune seems like it would be really good right here. Because then I could really, like, fine-tune my abilities later on, but... So let's try that. Because, again, I'm not supposed to be getting hit, so... <laughs> what good does evasion do me?
let's go with... So, that doesn't have... I see, I don't even see experience per second on some of this stuff, right? Like, that doesn't have experience per second. Maybe it's like a really rare skill set or something. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure I just died though. Which I might be a little upset about because how did I just get one shot by the Necromancer? Time and time again. But I was right that you want to get to a point where you just want to master as much as possible so that your plus skills are going to your better abilities or they're going to light, lightning strike. I'm picking that. No, so learner isn't the subset. I gotta figure out what the uh, title is for it. So if I can figure out what the title is for the plus experience, I think we'll be in a better spot. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just. Yeah, but apparently if you can get to vampirism with Skata, she'll never die. I don't know if that's true, but... <laughs> it's hard for me to, to disagree with that thought process, though. Um, so, I never... I'm never going to take this, and I'm never going to take this. So let's re-roll. Okay. Well. Alright, so... Raffle Strike is here. Lightning Bolt is pretty good. We're just going to master Chain Lightning. I'm surprised I still hadn't gotten uh, any levels on that. That's pretty crazy. So this is why I need that Barrier Breaker for this, this specific moment I'm just in right now. Where... Um, these guys have so much armor that they're getting those hits in on me because I don't have anything else to do. Um, Celestial Wings doesn't help me. I think now I'm just supposed to be like... Yeah, I don't know. Like I, I just hit that moment where I just feel like I just start getting obliterated by these things. Yeah, see, like, I don't know. What did I do wrong there? I just... I was doing insane amounts of damage. I was ma I maxed Wrathful Strike, so I had the maximum... I had a 30% chance on every hit to return damage. Um... You know, what What essentially did I do wrong right there? I feel like I followed all of their suggestions and instructions, but, you know, I guess... How do I get my damage higher in that aspect? Because that's what kind of... That's where it put me. So I can try stacking more life. Oh... Uh, I guess that doesn't do me any good, so I'm going to put that up. Weapon-wise, I mean, that feels pretty good. But see, look at that. Like, I, I keep, I'm giving up so much attack speed, I don't think that's worth it. <clears throat> I mean, I am definitely... 
not seeing this experience per second that I'm supposed to be looking for. So it, it must be a really, really rare... Wow, that looks really nice. It must be a really rare uh, skill set, because maybe it's that it's that overpowering. I didn't need to talk to him. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to put this in our candy cane stash. All right, let's give it one more shot and uh, see if we can... I mean, we got pretty far. We just didn't... It doesn't feel like we accomplished what we were set out to do. So we're going to do one more game going for all of the things. <clears throat> I mean, so in that aspect, maybe it's that I didn't get enough plus attack idols. So or not idols, altars. Apparently, these altars and stuff are pretty, pretty massive when it comes to the overall success of your character. Where if you have a really bad one, like maybe last game I felt like I had a. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're we're immediately gonna find out. So Scotta the Vampire. That's what we'll name this video if this goes well. Um, so. Oh. We don't want to be in summer. And, like, I, do I really want to go back to Wrathful Strike? I feel like it didn't work. So, like, in that aspect, should I just try something different? Because I almost feel like this might be better. Because it gets a better damage in it. Alright, so... We're going to actually... I'm going to reroll this. Let's get rid of... Dive... Let's try again. Oh my gosh, this is bad. <sighs> I don't think we're ever gonna use that. I'm going all in on this. Oh. This legitimately hurts my soul. <laughs> oh my lord. How in the hell did that just happen? Oh my god, you heal so much from vampirism? Jeez. I mean, I guess in that point, as long as I have stuff to attack with vampirism, it doesn't matter. I don't even have to dodge. I'm just gonna walk through damage. No, we're not doing Lady Justice. We're not doing Fire... This is what we wanted. Yeah, so essentially you want to take all the like, the non-summoning parts of Mort. And it like it benefits you, but I don't even know if I need lifelink now because I have vampirism. I think the whole point is to go into Mort to get to other things. So we're just going to take Execute. So now we just need time and then... Let's see. I mean, it, it's kind of hit or miss for me. It feels like it's better, but it also feels like it, it potentially could not be better. But the overall consensus is time is broken. Time gives you um, pretty much... I'm going to take everything at the lowest level, apparently, because I wasted all of those reruns on Frost. And then according to a couple of the people I talked to, there are just runs in this game where you can't win. The th items you get, the abilities you get. Um, so let's see. I'm just seeing if I could tank this guy, and I kind of did. Hey, Winter Goddess, yeah, what's up? 
<laughs> a part of me like maybe we should <laughs> maybe I should take frozen treasures and uh, just try and farm XP plus XP gear how funny would that be yeah so there is a build where with Skata you essentially attack in a 360 degree angle around her you because you make your you make your area so large that you just, she just literally hits everything. Which I think would be kind of cool to try and get, but. Yeah, your gear is way more important than I let on. <clears throat> so like those runs try to beat the hardest difficulty with no gear. And like only equipping gear that uh, <laughs> that appears is it's, it's pretty bad, I guess. All right, here we go. Um, so vortex can leave because I do want time field, but I want shards. I want to be able to pull more shardies in. So like, what an interesting uh, juxtaposition. The first game I maxing all of those abilities I had all those extra things and then in this game I'm not getting anything pretty much above adept but I mean wow well, I was <laughs> my I can tank anything thing you just got tested pretty hard <laughs> maybe you have to be a certain get it to a certain damage level and then then it'll happen <clears throat> so chill immune is for an enemy that was recently frozen and then um First test, hands in the air. Let's give it a shot. I'm actually gonna eat a cookie while we're doing this. Dude, this is scary. <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm gonna survive this one. I have wafer. Well, I haven't died yet. Maybe there's a sword or something that also gives her life bleach or has a better effect. But I don't have it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it does not feel like this is a good run. Let's focus on some abilities and see. I mean, I survived it. It definitely feels like if I don't get something big here in a second. <clears throat> but I can tell you this, none of this feels big. So, the Frost Tree Legendary is called Permafrost. Permafrost constantly freezes everyone in the field. The, 
that is really good. Yeah, so the, the frost in the field, basically, as things are coming in, they're getting frozen, and then that triggers... I mean, there's even, like, a uh, how to farm items guide that I was told I should read, but I didn't. But apparently I'm supposed to... Something to the effect where I'm supposed to keep quitting out of games until I get a really good frost run because you're supposed to utilize frost to trigger the, the dropping of items with luck or something like that. So my assumption based off seeing it is you're hoping to get permafrost so that everything gets chilled and then you can just uh, go that way maybe? I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying this because they they told me I played the character wrong. I let them, you know, kind of dictate to some degree the abilities I was trying, but... See, like, I don't, I don't think I, I do enough damage for this build. I mean, thank god I hit vampirism. I mean, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter if you don't do enough damage. I don't know. I feel like Skada's potential is there, but maybe I just don't have the gear for it. Or maybe I'm just supposed to go like ham like this and do something that does so much damage that I just like burst through, like I'm just pure burst build. I mean, that feels like that's better. But again, I, I mean, I'm looking at all of these items. I don't see experience per second it must be just like the la rarest skill set on these items i mean i don't even see there's one that's um increases experience gains i kind of want to take that sword but let's see oh maybe it's attack time this is it um so it is slightly faster but I think it's slightly faster because it has it's this has attack speed on it let's give this one a shot I'm gonna hold on to this just in case all right so we're at 44 we're gonna do one more give or take and then we're just gonna we're gonna call it quits with Scott maybe I don't know if I've ever gotten the uh, legendary for so Krom is one where I felt like has the best potential for Skata so I'm actually gonna do Krom and because I want to do rampaging strike and I want to take all the knockback built into it I'm never gonna take charge though, but I am gonna take war pack. So we're just gonna hope for something like this. Because my initial thought was that Krom was always gonna be the Krom was gonna be the way with Skata. The lightning, I understand the thought process behind it because it's stronger, but. 
I just personally feel like with the knockback and the way the character is and then the abilities you have that are available to the class okay so for this I'm gonna take gem high for now Um, so they told me movement speed is the most important thing. So I'm going to keep going with that because I did kind of feel a really big difference when I, uh, the reason I did that is because me getting, oh, I'll show you, me getting more levels for Rampaging Strike is not a bad thing either, right? Because Rampaging Strike, I'm using it all times anyways. See, and if you look at the Stagger Rate, I feel like the Stagger Rate is already, like, just so much higher. I mean, look at my, look at the damage difference for my class, right? Or for Scotta right now, right? All those other ones, like, I was barely doing any increased damage, and I feel like I haven't really... We're gonna, we're gonna live and die on this, <laughs> this run speed. You know, like, if I was to find one or two more really good attack shrines, like, I... And that's why I think this is a better class or a better character. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try not to take anything that's a depth because I think that might have been what happened on that last run. Um, I think I got too many crappy adepts, and so. They just don't do any. They're not good enough. I mean, look at that. 300 per hit. Like, I'm not hitting that with any other character this early on. And then if they survive, they get knocked back, and then they have to, like, you know, try and run to you again. Like, I said like, like, seven times in that. I, like, said like, like, seven, like, times. Like, Lord. Lady Justice. <laughs> and then there's also some community challenge modes that I want to try tonight so I'm going to do the videos for those as well and I'm actually going to do a double release video I think on one of these days but I'll talk about them now the next video and I'll explain it a little bit more so there's, <laughs> there's one challenge video so I was pretty close on with the uh, the random roller, but because of the way the game's set up to where you can't go out if you're on a solo setup like I am. Oh, whoa, what? Okay, hold on. I'm taking my sweater off. I am sweating. It is, I'm baking right now. But while I'm taking my sweater off, and you can definitely send donations for that, right? You know, you know how it is on Twitch now. Gotta, gotta show a little skin. All right. <clears throat> Shout out to all those women that deal with horrible human beings for some cash to survive. I mean, I'm taking Frost Dragon. I don't know if it's a good choice, a bad choice, but give it to me. I wonder how many dragons are in the game. Because I know there's a there's a fire dragon and then there's a frost dragon, so maybe there's like a lightning, a dragon, a death. Wow! Imagine if there's one for every tree. There probably is. Well, I'm pretty sure with the dragon, I can take my hands off this controller or <laughs> this keyboard, and I'm 
100% safe. <clears throat> Holy crap, he does so much damage. I wonder if he's considered a summon or... Alright, I lied. I can't take my hands off the controller. I just died instantly. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we're gonna take force. <laughs> Alright, I do a ton of damage, I just don't attack fast enough. So maybe I need to alterate into fate and get attack speed increase and then... I mean, the range is definitely smaller um, with this different item on. I want everything, but here we go. I it's just I am a beast. Look at that damage! Holy crap! See, and then it's like, did I do something correctly, or did I just get so lucky with my, my draws that it doesn't matter now? Like, okay, give me vampirism now, where every attack I'm hitting, I'm healing for 100. It seems like, yeah, that would be a pretty big, a pretty big difference. I'm gonna get rid of Summoner. I don't know if it affects the dragon. It probably does, but I didn't summon him, so that's why I'm not gonna take it right now. Um, I'm tired of seeing Vortex. We're just going to go all in here. There, yeah. See, and the reason I think it doesn't affect him is because he's doing 600 damage now. I think he might be, like, he might be triggered to mine. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go for... We're going to go for fate. <laughs> or if we get something really good here, maybe we'll do that. Well, this is where I want to be, but this isn't what I want. But maybe if I take a fate, it'll have her spawn, or it'll have her trigger more often. I'm gonna laugh. So my plan was always to, you know, do as many games as I can without looking at any guides. Lose 50 life, gain 20 levels, or gain 2 levels. Do I get the 50 life back? And I don't know if I have 50 life to lose. Oh, I did, okay. I was actually really afraid that if I picked that, I would've killed myself. And you know what, honestly, I might have. That's... I'm not healing anything right now. But yeah, so I was always, it was to play the game. Figure out as much as I can. See if I can be, you know, successful at it. See if I can do some high level gameplay. And I think for some degree I did do that with, you know, one of the characters. Um, I'm going, I'm going all damage on this, on this run. Like... Gain one revival or have life regen. Let's gain a revival. I wonder, is that listed somewhere? Revivals. I have two revivals. Okay. Yeah, so like, I wanted to... As high a high level of gameplay as I can, and then... Alright, so this is what I wanted. Uh, And then go watch like a guide to see if I was even close, if I, you know, had my finger on the pulse to some degree. Um, from what I've gathered from the few comments I've gotten, I played Scotta very incorrectly. <laughs> Uh, 
I mean, look at that damage, dude. I am just... Wow. Rupture deals more damage for each consecutive instance of damage. I don't feel like I have enough instances of damage, but it's a legendary, so let's take it. Oh, hold on. So that says wise. So maybe maybe wise is what I need. Okay, this is this is exactly what I wanted. I actually really want both of these. Um, so I'm going to take the knockback because I feel like I'm going to... Okay, so is wise... No, that's... Okay, so wise does um, more experience, period. So, I mean, that's not... That's not bad. I mean, I'm still... <laughs> Those barons just got bodied. Like, say my name, body. And this is why, another reason why I feel like Skada's real, like, primary should be Chrom. Because the attack speed increase, it's, it's incredible. Like, I feel like it's, it's strong enough that it, it should kind of carry the primary. And again, I don't want to take it because it's a novice, but I definitely want to... Eventually, I want to get to it. I mean, I am eating those shield guys alive. You remember how hard it was for me to kill them before? I mean, look at, look at that, like... Well, I just took a bunch of damage because I was trying to... Well, at least I have an extra revive. I am definitely feeling the fact that I'm so slow. <laughs> I probably... <laughs> Probably should have, uh... Yeah, so my attack speed's not high enough to kill the fireballs. And there's just a ton of these freaking dudes alive, so... So I got them dead, at least. <coughs> I mean, this dragon is doing work. Um, I'm actually not mad at dive. I just don't, I don't want it right now. So I'm about five levels slower on this run than my previous run that I had because before I was about level 20 at 10 minutes and on this one I'm level 16 so you know there's there's definitely there's definitely something going on with this, this character in particular and like leveling up because I don't think it's because I'm just leaving shards on the ground I mean I'm picking them up I'm I'm not leaving, you know, a bunch of XP there, like, to, to not do anything. Uh, okay, so back to the challenge mode for the potential next levels. Okay, Blades Master. Um, one of the challenges is called, it's called Channel, so... I, I don't know if it's like a something they're doing it to make videos just like that or if it's just like a maybe there's a speedrun leaderboard or like a, a roguelite leaderboard like speedrunny-esque thing <laughs> <laughs> it's 
if there is one, someone please link it to me because I want to be a part of that community because that sounds incredible. I'm going to take time field. Um, but anyways, so three channels is at the start of the game, you either let chat vote or you randomize it. It's one, two, or three. Middle or left, middle, or right, right? And whatever position you get picked, you have to take that position. Um, so you don't even, you don't pick your abilities, you're not allowed to re-roll, you're not allowed to do any of those things, right? You're simply only allowed to continuously take that position. And then, obviously, let's say you took all the abilities and there was only, you know, a middle and a left, you would just take, if you would just take the most applicable one. Or I guess you could re-roll again with chat or let them pick one or two. So I do want to do a video where I do that, where we see how that plays out. Because apparently that, that causes some, uh, some anarchy. Trying to win doing that apparently is a very, uh, it's a very hard thing. I'm, we're taking master, master dive. If I find a way to generate some life, man, I, uh, my survivability might be off the charts. There we go, that's a full heal. I'm getting a lot of master offers now. It started real slow. I was not getting him to begin with. So, Fury is incredible, that's what I want. So we're at Slimes 2.0. So... I am just getting mad legendary offers. Look at how, like... <laughs> they're just taking so much damage on the way in. <laughs> So again, this is another like parameter for a DPS check. If you're, uh, if you can't kill these slimes, then you're just. If you can't stand still, you can't. You're not gonna out damage the next portion apparently, because it's like a enough stuff comes in quick enough. But this is what I wanted. Look at the knockback keeps them away. The frost is just like an added bonus. <laughs> But look how much, like, crowd control I have, essentially. Like, if this was an MMO, man, I would just be... Oh, man, Blood Master Master. Listen to that. Listen to how fast I attack. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, that's so cool. <clears throat> well, at least we got a really good run going here for our last one. I don't know if I'm going to win, but uh, it's interesting. It's so much different than all the other ones we've taken. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember, remember I said I was going to take Warpack this game. <laughs> I passed on it for... Uh, I think I passed on it for the Legendary because it was a Master. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so are we behind is the question and I don't know if I can answer that correctly right now because I feel XP wise we're about five ish levels behind where we normally are You search the bookshelf, and I find nothing. <laughs> I took that because it had a heal on it. <laughs> and I... Alright, so the Necromancer bodied me last time on an attack. I don't know, I didn't remember seeing... Alright, so let's get him in here, and then let's just go. Let's do some work. Where'd he go? 
Come here, you old mother. Gandalf Greyhelm. Okay. I called him that. He doesn't look at you. Gandalf. I mean, it's not Greyhelm, it's Greybeard. I was thinking about Gimli, too. Alright, let's do a little quick check. Dude, nothing ha- Oh, well, that has 10% more luck if I was could wear it heavy. And it also could be a thing where it could just be the character. Because Scott is the only one that wears medium armor, so maybe it's just, like, it's harder to find on her, or because... Because she's the only one... I don't know if gear has, like, a, a weight to it, right? Where... It drops more light armor and heavy armor because there's multiple characters that can do it than in the opposite direction. That would be an interesting thing to like. Oh, that just straight up has a, an extra revival on it. I, I yeah, I would. I think I would always rather just have a revival than any other stat. <laughs> I'm so slow. It's insane how slow I am. I mean, so in the token of the dragon being useful or not right now, it is possible that the reason I'm so behind on experience is the dragon's doing work. So maybe the dragon is just straight up killing everything off screen so I'm not getting my experience off of it. Um, that's actually why I, I took Force 5. Because, one, I wanted to get a different thing getting free levels, or a smaller pool as well, but I <laughs> I feel like a lot of things are dying outside my range, and that might, have, might be what's hurting me a little bit. I'm surprised I've never gotten a better version of Shuriken's offer to me. Uh, like that's, to me, that's kind of funny, but let's... More blades means more rupture, more rupture means higher attack speed, higher attack speed means win. Yeah, this is not good. I don't think I have any revives left, do I? Nope, I used three. I've used three this game. I can't even like dodge fast enough. It's crazy. going all in on these uh... I <laughs> I can't believe I still haven't seen one vigorous is vigorous it no, no, vigorous is life I need this health but, uh... Alright, so the barrier thing is actually really good. It's, I mean, it came at day late and a dollar short. If I had had that before, I think it might have been much better. Um, I'm taking that just in case. Yeah, see, I just don't, I don't have a, a long enough attack range. I mean, my damage is incredible. I mean, no one can deny that, but it's just not... <clears throat> Yeah, 
you know, I'm like, I'm walking through some of these things. Yeah, the damage to barriers has been pretty big time. Yeah, just you can't get away from the. I mean, look at that. Taste of Time did freaking work. Dragon, the dragon did incredible. So there's something I don't understand, and maybe someone can in chat can, can let me know. Um, or in a comment, send me a message. Either email, Instagram, Twitter. Where it says time. Is that time active? Is that time, like, I don't. I had the frost dragon forever, but it says three minutes and thirty six seconds. So like that doesn't make sense to me, and that affects you know the DPS or it affects how you're looking at it, right? Dive eleven minutes and thirty one seconds, or is this telling me when I got it? Oh, uh, you know what? I think I just answered my own question. I think this is what time I took it in the match. So I took this at thirty one. I took this at six. I took this at three. That makes more sense. So if you look at it, in five minutes, this did more damage than the frost did in almost ten less minutes. So the dragon was good, but not great. Hmm. Okay. So that okay, that makes more sense, and I feel really stupid that it that just literally <laughs> just occurred to me. Oh well, that seems really good. All right. So. That's it for Scotta 2.0. I don't know if I did better or uh, if I did worse. Three reroll spill seeds. See, like I feel like that's better, and I'm gonna take that because I'm not. Spill speed doesn't do anything to me. This doesn't do anything for me. I, I'm not in this elusive experience only. Plus two experience just doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be on any of the gear for this character for me. So I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know. Is it is it that rare? Because quite frankly, I'm not seeing it even on any of the gear. I've seen gold gain. I've seen. I've seen almost everything but that. And maybe it's just that simple. It's kind of like Diablo 4 again, right? Where it's just the items are that that incredibly rare to find that you just really have to focus on, you know, getting specific things. And if that's the truth, you know, well. Oh, that, I, that makes more sense. I forgot I had that on. That's why I'm getting so many legendary offers. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Was this better or worse? I feel like it was better, but I also feel like we got a lot of legendary ones that just kind of like, uh, they did some work, but appreciate you watching. Uh, yeah, that was Scotta hyper focused. You guys wanted it, you guys got it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that was what we were talking about but it kind of felt like it so hopefully you guys enjoyed it drop a like leave a sub send me a message tell someone you love them deuces